Hello guys, uh, this is Mark Marcelo from Filipino Tech Addict. Uh, we will just uh, we will just have a, sh a short hands-on uh, video of this uh, Cherry Mobile Cosmos Force. This is around six thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. It's an LTE dual SIM smartphone, mid-range. Uh, bale, uh, this is one of uh, yung mga few LTE smartphones ng Cherry Mobile. Actually, yung pinakamahal yung Cosmos OnePlus. Uh, tapos yung ito, Cosmos Force. And the other one is yung Ultra. Yung Cherry Mobile Ultra. So, anyway, um, ito yung nasa middle ground. This is, this is uh, 6,999. It's been announced uh, earlier this year. Uh, pero medyo hindi siya napapansin ngayon kasi sa dami na na ng mga uh, current uh, LTE smartphones na nakikita natin na with, within the same price range like uh, Lenovo A7000 or yung Meizu M1 Note or yung uh, Alcatel One Touch Flash ngayon, if you're not really keen into buying sa mga uh, online stores this is readily available sa Cherry Mobile stores actually nabili lang namin to sa ano eh sa isang Cherry Mobile store sabi ko let's have a review since uh, maraming tao ang nafo-frustrate pag bumibili sa Lazada dahil madalas na out of stock ganun so if you are if you are in need sa LTE smo uh, smartphone na uh, affordable yeah, you you have to take a look at this. Pero before taking before digging into specs, so let's have muna some uh let, let's take a look muna sa hardware. So uh this has a 5.26 inch um L uh screen display. So this is HD in in resolution. Uh at, at the top of the device 3.5mm headset jack maganda ang audio output nito lalo na kung if you're using your um, third party headsets on the left side of the device nothing on the right side we have the volume rocker and the power button and yung lid para to open the back uh, back back cover sa sa ilalim naman on the bottom itong uh, USB charging port then at the back we have the Cherry Mobile branding and the speaker grill plus the 18 megapixel rear facing camera na sinasali na f.2 f.2.0 f uh, aperture so it can uh, get more light for better low light shots so we have wider lens anyway uh, at the front we have uh, the 8 megapixel front facing camera and sensors so for better selfies uh, so if you want to, to see our sample pictures nasa filipinotechaddict.net na so uh, we are moving nga pala from filipinotechaddict.com to filipinotechaddict.net so yung aming review ay nasa filipinotechaddict.net so anyway okay more on the specs uh, this has a 1.2 gigahertz quad core Snapdragon 410 processor with Adreno uh, 306 graphics. We have a 1 gig RAM, 16 gigabytes of internal storage, expandable via micro SD. So, um, let's take a look at the back first before we continue sa, sa, sa specs rundown. So, wala siyang, ay wala siyang expand, sorry, wala siyang expandable storage. So, 16 uh, gigabytes of internal storage lang siya. Wala siyang expandable storage. Meron siyang dual SIM card slots. This uh, one, SIM 1, is, uh, it has LTE as you can see here. May, may LTE siya. 
the other one is only 3G, uh, 2G GSM. So, both are micro SIM. So, battery is non removable. This is 2500 mAh battery. Okay? And then, balik lang na. So, ang purpose lang na pag remove ng back cover if, if you want to switch your SIMs. So, balik lang natin. Alright, tapos uh, we have a 5 inch, 5.26 or 5.26 inch HD uh, IPS LCD display. Um, it's running Android 4.4 KitKat, but according to Cherry Mobile, you will get an update to Android 5.0 Lollipop. I don't know when, pero magkakaroon sila. So, on, an, on everyday use, uh, malaking bagay para sa amin yung LTE. So, we usually get mga yung normal LTE range, pero uh, kasi it has only, uh, ang bands na meron siya ay 1800 and 2100 uh, band megahertz sa LTE. So, it can, it has, uh, yung, yung 1800 tsaka yung 2100, Pareho siyang smart bands, uh, LTE bands. Sa Globe, 20, sa kanya yung 18, meron siya 1800, so 1800 data or 21. Basta one of those two, Globe. Both of them, both Globe and LTE sims, uh, smart and Globe LTE sims, nag-work dito. So, pero we prefer the, yung aming Globe na ilagay dito. And it worked fine naman. Uh, let's have a look lang dun sa aming uh, let's have a screenshot so this is uh, the latest that we got na LTE speed test as you can see Ayan. and then uh, we have another uh, this is our the yung Antutu benchmark score naman na kinuha naman namin. Yeah. All right. Camera, uh, yung mga photos ng camera ng aming camera eh nasa filipinotechaddict.net. Overall, battery life, uh, we we love uh, the battery life good device kasi ginagamit pa nga namin yun to pang pang Wi-Fi hotspot eh. Uh, yung battery niya is above average if you are a regular smartphone user. Pag heavy user, syempre hindi ganun kaganda. Lalo na kung you 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 do a lot of gaming, a lot of LTE kun uh, LTE and pinaportable hotspot niya siya, tinetether niya siya. So, talagang medyo medyo mabilis siya pag pag ganun. Pero for 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 a heavy user, medyo impressed kami. Kasi, uh, it takes time para siya malumat. So, battery life, good. Call quality, uh, speed speed ng LTE is good. Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi hotspot, uh, Wi-Fi hotspot, Bluetooth, everything is uh, smooth. Walang issues. We don't have any issues regarding sa kanyang uh, connectivity. Gaming. Hindi namin siya na-download na ng masyado maraming games. So, we only had uh, Clash of Clans. As you can see, nagpe-play yung Clash of Clans smoothly. Audio quality coming from, coming out from the from the audio are okay. They're not really that loud, pero audible naman. So See, so audible naman siya. So para ma-test natin yung audio quality, let's uh 
launch Spotify. So, bottom line, it is a good, good phone. I was very impressed. So, if you are really, yung meron ka ng budget, wala ka mabiling LTE phone sa Lazada dahil out of stock, kunin nyo na to. Sa, sa Cherry Mobile stores, meron siya. Tsaka, this is one of, uh, one of one phone that is quite underrated na as of the moment. Kasi hindi, tsaka na-overlook dahil Lahat ng focus ng ating ating mga smartphone buyers right now are they're looking for the Alcatel One Touch Flash Plus or the yung yung Lenovo A7000. So this is a good alternative. So you have to check this out. This is 6999. Again, this is Mark Marcelo from Filipino Tech Addict. Thank you for watching.